Hey Cromwell, welcome back. So this is going to be the first installment of a couple videos to to help you with your programming. Um, this video is on if and else statements, and we're ju I'm just going to go through the code we uh, did last week, um, but where we changed the colors of our background by moving our mouse from left to right. Um, so first and foremost, I'm on this web page. I'm going to make sure that I'm clicked on PJS. And I'm going to delete all of this code and write void setup and void draw. And as always, and again, you can find this in our little cheat sheet, I'm going to type in full screen to tell the computer, hey, I want my canvas to be the entire screen. And I'm going to set my background uh, to black. So just 0, 0, 0, and just going to test my code. and. It's a black screen. So really, if and else statements are just situations. We're telling the computer, hey, if this is going on, do this. Um, we can kind of, you know, see it in real life. You know, for us, if I if I have a nice pizza in front of me and, I'm, and I tell my, my mind says, if Dhruv sees pizza, eat the pizza. Else, or, or else, if I see Brussels sprouts, I'm not going to eat those. Brussels sprouts are disgusting. And computers work in the exact same way. I'm going to tell the computer, hey, if this is happening, or if this is true, go ahead and do this. So the way we structure it, the way we convey this, this message to a computer is by typing. And I, I, I just hit tab over there. It's a really quick way to, it's, uh, to indent your code and to make it look nice. I'm going to hit tab, and I'm going to say if. And inside void draw, because as we discussed, void draw goes through your code 60 times a second. Uh, and loops back and forth, back and forth to always check for what we've written. So I'm going to type in here, if, if, and then, and then two little parentheses. On the inside of these parentheses, I'm going to type mouse x. And as we discussed, just a quick refresher, mouse x is a, is a variable that stores where our, how far from the left of the screen our mouse is. So, so, for example, if my mouse is over here, the value for mouse x is going to be 500. It, it tell, it, the computer knows that, hey, my mouse is 500 pixels away from the left of the screen. So I'm going to type, if mouse x is less than about 500 pixels from the left of my screen, and this is called my condition. So if this is true, I'm going to make another set of curly brackets. And inside these curly brackets, I'm going to tell the computer what to do if my mouse is less than 500 pixels from the left of the screen. And I'm going to say, change my background color to red. 255, 0, 0. Now, if this is true, my background is going to turn red. Now, how do we tell the computer what to do if this isn't true? That's where the else part comes in. I'm just going to type else. So if that's true, do that. Else, if it isn't true, and I'm just, and there's no brackets, parentheses, I'm going to type just, just else, and in another set of curly brackets, I'm going to type background, change the background to uh, green. So now, and I forgot my semicolon at the end. So remember, there are no semicolons after an if statement, but there are semicolons at when, whenever you set up your background. Um, the reason for this is, your, any If you type code that requires curly brackets, so my if statement requires curly brackets and void draw requires curly brackets, you don't put a semicolon at the end. But if you type a, a line of code that, that doesn't require curly brackets, like background over here and full screen, whoops, background and full screen, you put, a, you put a semicolon at the end. So back to here, this all this says is if my mouse is less than 500 pixels from the left of the screen, convert my screen to red. Uh, 255 red, 0 green, 0 blue. Else, make my background blue. 0, 255, uh, 0, 0, 255. So if I hit play, notice how my screen, when I come on the canvas, my screen is red. But the second I cross that 500 pixel mark, it turns blue. So it's in one of two situations. My, my mouse is either 
500, less than 500 pixels from the left side of the screen, in which case it turns red, or it's greater than 500 pixels from the left side of my screen, in which it turns blue. Now, what if I want to add a, what if I want to add more? What if I want to, you know, say, hey, I, I want, you know, the, the screen color to change. I, I want to put more than just two colors. I want to, I want it to, you know, I want to break my screen up into three different sections and say, if it's over here, it's going to be red. If it's over here, it's going to be green. And if it's over here, it's going to be blue. Well, that's where an else if statement is. If you think about it in real life, we, we have options. If I go to an ice cream shop, I have the option of choosing chocolate, vanilla, or, you know, strawberry. Um, they're not going to tell me, oh, you, the, the two flavors you can pick are only red and blue, right? I, I have more options than that. And in order to tell the computer that there are more options, I can type an else if statement. So right after my if statement, if I say if mouse x is less than 500, I'm going to say uh, uh, convert to this background. However, or else if mouse x, and again, the space between if and the parentheses doesn't matter. So I'll just put a space there. But else, if mouse x is greater than 500, set my screen to green. Zero, 255, zero. And if I hit play, it does just that. But wait a second, where'd our blue go? Why, you know, in my code, I, I told the computer, if none of these are true, then, then play green. Why is it not displaying green? And that's because, technically, these two situations will always be true. My mouse will either be less than 500 pixels from the left side of the screen, or more than 500 pixels from the left side of my screen. So, whenever the computer looks at this code and goes back and forth at it, it checks each situation, and it's either this situation or this situation. In order to get it to this situation, I can use what's called an AND operator. So I can say for this second statement, if my mouse x value is greater than, if my mouse is greater than 500 pixels from the left side of my screen, and my mouse is less than 800 pixels from the side of the screen, uh, make my background color green. So what this does is it it says, hey, if my if my mouse is between 500 and 800, so between like let's say here and here, um, display a green color. But if it isn't between here and here, if it's over here, none of these statements are true. In which in which case it's going to play blue. And if it's over here, it's less than 500 pixels from the left side of my screen, um, it shows red. So if I hit play, on this side it's red, and once it's greater than 500 pixels from the left side of my screen, it goes to green, and once it's greater than 800 pixels from the left side of my screen, it goes to blue. And so now I have three different colors right there. And so that's the basics of if and else statements. I can change anything inside over here to anything else I want. I can make it draw a rectangle. I can say draw a rectangle 100 pixels from the left, 100 pixels from the top, 100 pixels wide, 100 pixels tall, and it'll do that. It'll just draw a rectangle. So this is what's so cool about if and else statements. I can put whatever I want inside. Um, and if this state, if any of these are true, it'll do whatever whatever's on the inside of the statement. If you have any questions, feel free to message me, um, but that's all we have for this video.